When you install R, you actually install a slim base version that allows you to perform very common tasks in statistical analysis and data structure manipulation. But what makes R so incredibly flexible and appealing is that every user can write functions for specific tasks. Users often do that because the base installation doesn't provide a solution for a more complex problem. Many users then make their functions available for others in so-called packages, which are like add-ons to R. There are thousands of such packages to perform virtually any statistical or data manipulation tasks. So if you wanted a comparable flexibility with commercial software, you may have to cough up tens of thousands of dollars and still not get the solution you need. Packages can generally come from two types of sources. They may either be downloadable from someone's website or, which is actually the more common and generally the recommended source, they are available from the CRAN repository. Packages in the repository are considered safe for use because they are constantly tested so they comply with the high community standards for R packages. Having said that, until I submit the package color instructions to the CRAN repository, you can download the source code for the package from my website. So here's the disclaimer. I ran the same tests on the package that CRAN also uses on packages in the repository, but you must be aware that you use a package at your own risk. Of course, you can always check if I have meanwhile submitted the package to CRAN and download it from there if I have. Until then, go to my website and download the source code for your operating system. Important, do not unzip the folder. Open R or R Studio, and you will have several options to install, and I will illustrate the version that works in both environments, R and R Studio, and then illustrate a second option which only works in R Studio. At the console, type install.packages, parentheses, file.choose, parentheses, comma, repos equals nil, and hit enter. In the dialog that opens, navigate to the folder where you downloaded the zip file to, select it, and click OK. Note that on Windows, you may get a warning message as follows, regardless of whether you use R or RStudio. I will simultaneously illustrate the second option to install packages, this time via the Packages tab in the pane over here. I select the Packages tab, click Install, and then select Package Archive, because you're not installing from the repository. And in the dialog, navigate to your download, select the archive, which is the zip folder, and click Open, then Install. Now the package call instructions appears in the list of installed packages. Note that to use a package in R, you will need to load it. It will not be automatically available for use when you start R. This is a feature, not a bug, because suppose you had hundreds or thousands of packages installed, it will slow down R considerably if R loaded every one of them every time you start R. To load a package for use in an R session, use the command a library with the name of the package you want to load. So in this case, a library called instructions and hit enter. It is now loaded, which is indicated in RStudio by that blue box.